If you've never heard of Adobe Bridge before, or maybe you have heard it and maybe you're not using it for one reason or another, possibly that reason uh, being somebody like me 10 years ago made fun of it, which which I did. Um, I'd like you to, to watch this video because I, I, think, I think for a lot of people, there could be a place for both programs, both Bridge and Lightroom inside of your workflow. Uh, this video came up really because I, I use Bridge, I've been using it for years. I use it for certain things, especially a lot of my wildlife photography. And I was doing some editing in front of a group. Somebody saw me doing something and they're like, what are you doing? I'm like, I'm just editing this Bridge. It's, it's just a quick shoot, I only need one photo. And they're like, you never showed us that. And I'm like, I, I didn't know anybody cared, but I thought I'd do this quick video on five ways tools, things that Bridge has that Lightroom doesn't. It's not meant to be a contest because I'm not trying to convert anybody from Lightroom to Bridge. What I'm saying is, is that it does have some useful tools and it. it's got some useful features in it. And I think if you can use both of those, you can use both Bridge and Lightroom together. I think there's a lot of things in your workflow that you might find a little bit simpler. Let's go ahead and jump in. I think the first big thing is gonna be that you don't have to import your photos in Bridge. You just literally, I've got a folder on my desktop that I know is full of bare photos. I click on it and I see the photos inside of there. Whereas with Lightroom, we have to go through the file import process and make Lightroom aware of the photos before we can do anything. Okay, and for, for me, for a lot of you watching, maybe not a big deal, uh, you understand this process, but I can tell you from, from 20 years of teaching Lightroom that I get messages from people every single day, multiple messages from people every single day, that that is not an intuitive process, okay? So just being able to look at a folder of photos that maybe you don't even want to bring into Lightroom, but just very quickly look and do a quick edit, I think can also be really beneficial. I'm not saying use Bridge instead of Lightroom. What I'm trying to say is I think there can be a world where you might want to actually use both of them. So that first one is that you don't have to do an import. The second one builds off of that a little bit because it's a key point from the first one. The reason you don't do an import is that Bridge is a file browser. So if you ever look on your Finder window on a Mac or your Windows Explorer window on a PC, these, these are just, you're, you're just browsing your hard drive. You're browsing the files and folders on your hard drive. And that's all Bridge is. It's a way to browse the files and folders on your hard drive, not importing, nothing like that. It's just a fancier way of doing it. Okay, it's a more fancy visual way of browsing things on your computers. But there's a folder you wanna look at, then you just click on that folder and you can see it. To, to go along with that, so here's the way where I use Bridge often, especially when I have a photo shoot that I know doesn't have a lot of good stuff in it, and I just wanna grab one photo and then delete the rest. Uh, here's my card reader, okay? I've plugged my card reader in. I actually haven't clicked on it yet, okay? but I plugged it in, which is something you can't do inside of Lightroom. You can't plug your card reader in and see, browse, and edit your photos from there, okay? You've gotta import them into Lightroom first. Here, I can plug that card reader in, but I want you to see how fast it actually builds the thumbnails. And this didn't used to be the case in that I was even part of a group that made fun of, of Bridge for, for things like this because of how slow it was. But Bridge is very formidable now as far as showing you your photos very, very quickly. Okay, you can get there and you can see these photos very quickly. And then if you're the impatient type, which I often am, and I just wanna edit something and I wanna see it, then you just double click, it'll open it up into Adobe Camera Raw. And now you can do some quick edits inside of there. Cause we all know that Adobe Camera Raw is the same as Lightroom Develop. They're identical to each other. So um, if again, if you've got a reason to look at a photo shoot very, very quickly that you don't want to necessarily bring into Lightroom, this can be a good, fast, easy way to do it. And it didn't used to be that way. And I understand that it used to be very, very slow, but it's actually gotten very, very quick. As you saw here, I hadn't even clicked on that. There's thousands of photos in this folder and it rendered those previews really fast. Okay, uh, the other thing we should do is also show you how to open Bridge. So if you're in your Adobe Creative Cloud app, Bridge is an application. Okay, so Bridge is an app that you have to download uh, from your Creative Cloud app. It does get updated just about every year. If you're in Photoshop, you can go to Browse in Bridge and you can open it from there, or you can open it the same way you would open any other application on your computer and you can open it directly. Okay, the third one is gonna be metadata. So, so Bridge has more metadata information. You're gonna see the quick metadata information on the right, and I know Lightroom has an area where we can see that. You're just gonna see a little bit more information inside of Bridge. 
And then for all of the metadata nerds out there, the people that really love to dig into metadata, you'll be able to see metadata at a glance faster and easier for multiple photos. So there's a metadata panel up here. There's also a couple of icons down here. If you click, you'll see that you can change between uh, right down there toward the bottom. But uh, there's a metadata view here where you, you get to see different photos and their metadata. You can't do this inside of Lightroom. Okay, if I selected multiple photos, I wouldn't see the individual metadata for every single photo inside of there. So that's something that's important to you to be able to see multiple photos at a glance with their metadata and have more metadata information. Then uh, there could be a reason why you might want to use Bridge for some of your, your photo reviewing to see that metadata. Again, as I keep saying, I'm not saying use Bridge in place of Lightroom. I'm saying understand the differences and maybe it fits into your workflow. Speaking of workflow, I promise I'll keep this quick. I have a bridge workflow mini course. It's just an hour long, very, very inexpensive because I don't want to make it difficult. It's, it's the allure of it is that it's so simple, but I did put this mini course together because I get a lot of questions on where bridge fits in. I want to make sure you know what all the buttons and dials and different views do. And then I cap it off with a full workflow video so you can see for certain photo shoots how exactly I would come back edit those photos, look at those photos, mark them, do some quick edits to them uh, inside a camera raw and be done with that photo shoot rather than have gone through a full import process with Lightroom. Hope you'll swing by to find out a little bit more. Now, moving on to our fourth difference is going to be a customization option. Again, not a big deal for everybody, but I, I hear it from people all the time that want to move panels around in Lightroom and you can't. You, you can't move a panel from the left to the right or up and down, but uh, over here you can see I can grab the metadata panel. It's over on the left-hand side. I can take that panel and I can move it over here onto the right hand side if I wanted to and start to collapse things, move around. You get a lot of you get a lot of flexibility in your interface here inside of Bridge. And I will say that that's definitely something I know a lot of people wish that we got inside of Lightroom. We can hide panels, change the order of those panels, but we can't move them around the interface to places that might be uh, more appealing to our eye in the way that we work with our photos. And then the fifth one, I'm going to break it up into 5A and 5B because I think they're two really small things. I'm going to say they're big things, but I think you can combine them together. You, you, got, you got a fifth one here. The first one is I absolutely love the breadcrumbs. Um, so I'm going to go back over here to the Essentials workspace. And I love the fact that there's these little breadcrumbs up here. So I can go start you know, digging through the folders on my computer. I can go to my desktop and I can click on a folder. And I love that it shows me all of those places that I've been right up there. So I can very quickly get back. And again, this goes back to one of the first things that I said, which is maybe you're using Bridge as a very visual way to organize your photos because you want to get them into Lightroom. And, and again, you, you you got to be organized before Lightroom or you're just going to be disorganized inside of Lightroom. So you got this little breadcrumb trial here. Um, you've got this little icon in the top uh, where you can click on it. It's going to show you your most recent folders inside of there. And then even if you click on like the Adobe Photoshop one, it'll show you your most recent files that you've opened here. And you can click on one and it'll pop Photoshop open. So uh, it makes it very, very easy to find recent files and recent folders that you've worked with. I don't want to say that Lightroom is totally lacking in this area because if you were to look in this little bar right above your film strip down here, let's make that a little bit bigger. If you were to look at this little bar down there, if you click on it, you can see your recent sources. You can even set some of those as favorites if you wanted to. So I don't want to say Lightroom's totally lacking in that area, but I definitely think Bridge is a little bit simpler if you wanted to get back through a list of folders. And then 5B is going to be working with other apps. And I know not everybody does this, but if you go to the Tools menu, you'll see there's a lot of different options inside of here to work with other applications. If you go under the File menu, you'll also see as I click on a photo here, I'll get even different options. But if you go to the file menu, you'll see there's different options as far as uh, different programs that you can work with, different programs that you can export and open into. I can open with and I can jump into a lot of more and different programs than I'd be able to if I were using Lightroom. So hopefully if you're somebody that really didn't know what Bridge was, or you're somebody that hasn't used it because it's just kind of had this, this bad stigma against it. Again, I, as I said in the beginning, people like me made fun of it a while back. Um, hopefully you'll give it another look because I think it can be a useful tool uh, to have. Also, if you're looking for another video to go to next, I did one a while back on a uh, probably, I think the best masking tool inside of Lightroom and Adobe Camera Raw. 
doesn't get talked about enough and I think it's it's really one of the best ones and one of the most useful ones inside of there. So if you're looking for another video to watch, that's a great one to go to next.